Hey everyone, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be making another little dinosaur cake for you guys today. Now, if there's one thing I've learned over my years of caking, it's that pretty much all kids love dinosaurs because it's probably one of the most popular cakes that I'm requested to make. And from cute and cuddly to mean and scary, the caking possibilities are endless. But today we're going for cute and cuddly, I think. So let's get into it. So for today's cake, I'm starting out with three six inch vanilla cake layers, which I've also swirled with some rainbow sprinkles for extra fun. So we're gonna start out by trimming these down and leveling these out, and then we're gonna start stacking and filling our layers. So when it comes to cake boards, I like to use one that's actually quite a bit larger than the cake itself. So that way there's lots of extra room around the sides for any decorations or a name or anything else I might like to add. So for this cake today, which is a six inch, I'm gonna be using a 10 inch round cake board. And we're just gonna be filling our layers with some vanilla American buttercream that I colored with a little tiny bit of blue. All right, so at this point, if you're using any sort of special filling or anything like that, you're probably gonna wanna pop your cake into the fridge to chill for just a few minutes before you do your crumb coat, just to solidify these icing layers so they're not sliding around while you're trying to put your icing on the cake. But I'm not using any fillings today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start my crumb coat. And we're just gonna be using the same blue vanilla American buttercream. And now we're gonna pop it in the fridge to chill to allow it to firm up and seal all these crumbs into place. And while we're waiting, we're gonna start working on some decorations. So the first decoration we're gonna work on is gonna be our topper, because this one's gonna need the most amount of time to dry. So, as you guys can see, I've drawn up this cute little volcano topper, and it's exploding, and it has a little number two on the front for the birthday boy's age. So in order to make this, what we're gonna do is add some Tylo powder to our fondant. We're gonna roll out all the different colors that we need, use our stencil to mark off the pattern, cut it out with an X-Acto knife, and then we're gonna piece all those little pieces together. And once I've got it together, I'm gonna to add a little flower wire to the back of it so we can use this to attach it to the cake with. And there we go, didn't that turn out super cute? I just love it, I think it's gonna look really good on our cake. So now we're gonna set this off somewhere to dry and firm up, preferably somewhere warm and dry, so it'll get nice and hard for us when we stand it on top of the cake. All right, so the next thing we're gonna work on is our little dinosaurs, and I have a few different ones drawn up here that we're gonna make, and we're gonna do these ones a little bit differently. I'm gonna roll out the fondant, and we're gonna cut out the whole shape of the dinosaur, and then I'm just gonna use some watered down gel food color and a little paintbrush to paint all the details on.
All right, there's our adorable little dinosaurs and I think they turned out super sweet as well. So we're gonna set these off to the side and it's time to grab our cake. Now I do still have a couple of decorations left to make, but I wanna make them and put them directly onto the cake. So we're gonna grab our cake, do our final coat of icing, and then we can finish up. Okay, so our final coat of icing is actually gonna consist of two separate steps. The first being to cover our entire cake in another coat of this nice light blue, which is gonna represent the sky. Then once we smooth that out, and I'm happy with how that looks, I'm gonna come back in with a piping bag and a little bit of green icing. We're just gonna pipe a little bit all around the base of our cake. Then I'm gonna smooth that out using a bench scraper, and it's gonna leave a really nice effect behind to make it look like little rolling green hills. Now I do use this effect quite often, and you can pick that up in a few of my different videos, but you guys have to try it. It's just so simple, I love it. All right, so let's get this cake covered up. And voila, doesn't that look awesome, guys? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is pick which side of the cake we want to be the front of our cake because every cake has a good side and a bad side, so we're gonna pick the best side. Now, when we've decided that, we're next gonna take our dinosaurs, we're gonna strategically place them where we want them to be, then we're gonna fill in the spaces with some greenery, maybe some cactuses, add our topper, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Well, here it is guys, and I think it turned out super sweet. Look at the little dinosaurs, aren't they cute? And the little baby in the back too. I just love him, I think he is so cute. And it's bright and it's colorful, and I think it's a perfect cake for a little boy turning to. Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up button and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.